St. Petronella, Pernal, Virgin, Martyr, 60, Rome. Here followeth the life of St. Pernal, and first the interpretation of her name. Petronilla is said of Petens, that is demanding, and of Trunus, that is a throne or a seat, as who saith she was demanding the throne or seat of virgins. Of St. Pernal. St. Pernal, whose life St. Marcel writh, was daughter of St. Peter the Apostle, which was right fair and beauteous, and by the will of her father she was vexed with the fevers and axes. It happed on a time that the disciples dined with St. Peter, and one, Titus, said to him, Peter, how is it that all sick people be healed of thee and thou sufferest pernal, thy daughter, to lie sick? To whom St. Peter said, For it is expedient to her to be sick. Nevertheless because it shall not be imputed impossibility of her health for to be excused by my words, he said to her, Arise, pernal, hastily, and serve us. Which Anna arose all whole and ministered and served them. And when the service was all done and accomplished, Peter said to her, Pernal, go again to thy bed. Who Anna went again to her bed, and the fevers vexed her as they did tofore, and whereas she began to be perfect in the love of God so he healed her perfectly. Then was there an earl called Flaccus, which came to her, and for her beauty would have her unto his wife. To whom she answered, If thou desirest me to have unto thy wife, Command thou certain virgins to come to me for to accompany me unto thine house. And whiles he was busy to make ready the said maidens, St. Pernal set herself in fastings and prayers, and received the holy body of our Lord and reclined into her bed, and after the third day she died, and she passed out of this world rendering her soul unto our Lord. Then Flaccus, seeing himself disappointed and mocked, turned himself unto Follicula, fellow of St. Pernal and said that she should wed him or offer unto the idols, which both two she refused. Then the prefect set her in prison, and there kept her seven days and seven nights without an meat and drink, and after he did do hang her body on a gibbet, and there slew her and threw her body into a foul privy, which holy Nicodemus took up and buried. Wherefore Nicodemus was called of Flaccus, and because he would not sacrifice to the idols he was beaten with plummets, and his body cast into the Tiber but it was taken up of just in his clerk and honorably buried. Amen.